Every journalist loves a scoop, those morsels of exclusive content that set their news coverage apart from their competitors. But not even the biggest news organizations can cover every story. They need help. What this means for a newsroom's technology is that its content management system must have an easy way to ingest content from external contributors. I'm Greg from Source Fabric, and in this tutorial I'm going to teach you how to ingest content into Superdesk, our award-winning open-source headless CMS. In Superdesk, you can pull content from just about everywhere, such as emails, a news wire service, and even a supported social media account. In this demo, we'll learn how to ingest from an RSS feed. To ingest a new RSS feed, navigate to the hamburger menu at the top left of your Superdesk workspace. To add a new source to ingest from, click Add New in the upper right-hand corner. First, set the status. If the status is active, Superdesk will ingest from this source. If it's closed, Superdesk will not ingest any content until it's reactivated. Closed sources are saved and can be reopened at any time. Next, we need to name this new ingest feed. The provider name is how the feed will be labeled in Superdesk. It will not appear externally. The source name is how content ingested from this source will be tagged under the source field in the article metadata. We're going to create an RSS feed for CNN's world news. So we'll call this feed CNN World and use that for both fields. Now, select RSS Atom from the Feeding Service drop-down menu. From here, we need to make a few decisions. The Article Types button lets you select the type of content to be ingested. For example, you could set it to ingest only text articles and ignore photos, or you could choose to ingest a combination of content types. We will select Text Only. We also must tell Superdesk how often to ingest new content. You can set a reminder to be notified if the field is idle for more than a predetermined amount of time. This setting is great for high volume feeds, such as a news agency feed. With this notification enabled, you will be alerted if there is an error in the ingesting process. Another way to monitor errors is under the notification window here, where you can set alerts like the error toggle to send messages to a specific user when something goes awry. Continuing on to the content expiry tab, we have to tell Superdesk how far back in the RSS feed we want to go. In other words, this feature allows you to tell Superdesk not to ingest content if the source article is older than the expiry limit, which helps ensure your newsroom is only publishing current and relevant news. The Allow Remove Ingested Items button lets users with appropriate permissions remove ingested items that haven't been designated for use by a specific desk in your workflow. Finally, on the host line, we need to add the RSS URL. In our case, we're going to use CNN's World News RSS feed, which I found by Googling. Paste this URL into the host field and hit save. We're going to ignore the other fields below. With the setup complete, there are two ways to view your new ingest feeds out of the box. From your ingest dashboard in the settings menu, you can view the individual feeds by hovering over the ingest source name and selecting the go to items icon. This will take you to the Superdesk search menu with this particular provider featured. From here, you can create saved searches for this ingest and add them to your monitoring view or to a custom desk. More on how to do that can be found in the Superdesk manual. A link is provided in the text below this video. You can also click the search button, the magnifying glass, on the navigation pane in the Superdesk workspace, which will show all of your enabled ingest feeds. This is just an introduction to the ingest capabilities of Superdesk. Additional features can make your incoming content even more customized. For instance, with routing, ingested content can be delivered to a specific desk. And with rule sets, Superdesk can even modify ingested items with time-saving edits, such as American spellings or organizational specific terms, making editing easier. To learn more about what Superdesk can do for you, visit our website at www.superdesk.org. I'm Greg from Source Fabric. Thanks for watching.